Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we got our first... That is not Pokemon. We got our first Pokemon, which is a Totodile, yes. And we began our little adventure. In this episode, we're going to be heading to Mr. Pokemon's house. Yeah, I bet he got made fun of a lot in high school for that name. And we're going to get awesome music. And that's a berry, and it gives you a green apricorn and heart gold and soul silver yet again. Uh, going in here, you can get another free berry. This guy will give you a case for your apricorns and heart gold and soul silver, but in this case, he just gives us a berry. Berries recover 10 HP, by the way. Um, not very good, but the difference between berries and potions is the fact that your Pokemon can equip them and use them at the end of their turns, so they can make a big difference early in the game. And random encounter. Uh, I guess this would be a good time to go into the new Pokemon you can find here. First off, Caterpie. It's decent, but... It's not as good as it was in the original games, because the psychic moves that it would learn as a later stage aren't as effective in this game, so its bad stats kind of shine through a lot more in this one. Uh, next up is Metapod, just Caterpies of all form, except all it can know is Harden, though, so I would recommend if you wanted to cater uh, Butterfree, I mean, just catch it as a Caterpie and train it up, though, because it's harder to train as a Metapod. Um... Next up is Weedle. It's basically Caterpie, except it can poison. Not really anything special about it. It's not very good, but, you know, if you want to have a Pokemon that can poison early in the game, it's not too bad of a choice. Um, I guess next up is Kakuna, which is Weedles of all form. Nothing to really say about that. It's just Weedles of all form, and all it knows is hard, and it's Metapod, but for Weedle. Um, random Encounter. Uh, Spinarak is next up, only found in Golden Crystal, it's not very good, only found at night, I don't recommend this one, it's not a good bug type at all. Um, Lettybuzz up next, it is the suckiest suck that ever sucked, again, just don't go for it, only found in Silver and Crystal. It just, its stats are terrible, moves are awful, it's not a good Pokemon. Uh, and then two more Pokemon can be found here, which are Z which are only found in Crystal, so don't worry about this in Gold and Silver. Uh, they're Zubat, which is a fast Pokemon, really good for poisoning, and it pretty much always attacks first at this point in the game, so it's not bad. Ooh, Totodogger to level 7. Uh, and then the last one is... Ooh, yes, I learned Rage! Uh, I'll get into what Rage is in just a minute. Uh, last Pokemon found here is Poliwag, which can only be found at night. It's really good because it puts foes to sleep and is a pretty good water type, but if you just Totodile, you don't need that. Anyway, now that that's done, uh, right here next to this house, you can get a PSN Cure Berry, or an Xbox Live Berry, whatever. Um, and check it out, it's Mr. Pokemon's house. That gives you a pink apricorn, heart gold, and soul silver, by the way. Uh, let's go ahead and head in here. You must be a meal. Professor Elm said you would visit. Okay, apparently he's telepathic, or... Gasp has cell phones. Alright, we get a mystery egg from him. A couple who ran a daycare service, they gave me that egg, I was intrigued, so it's an L Professor Elm. Alright, whatever. You couldn't just teleport it to him like you can with Pokeballs and the PC. It's Professor Oak! I always dreamed for the day that I would meet you. Oh, whatever. And he says, Hurts, you're running an error, Professor Elm. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon! Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. Like Professor Elm and I are friends. He saw you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Sure. Maybe I just wanted to make a couple of quick bucks by doing this errand. Okay. Yeah, the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records the on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia! It's like Bulbapedia on the go without the Bulbapedia. Let's see here. Stay too long. Has to go to Goldenrod for his radio show. Okay, whatever. I don't really care. And we are returning. He's, he's going to go ahead and give us some rest now. Something I will say about graphical limitations, I could never tell if these were supposed to be wires going from the computer to the machine, or if this is supposed to be a carpet. I don't know. I don't know why I bothered to talk about it. Anyway, let's just go ahead and leave, and... Phone's gonna ring! I called it. H Hello, Emil? It's a disaster! Oh, this is terrible! What should I do? It oh no, please get back here! Okay. Hyperventilation. Let's just go ahead and head back. Real quick, I thought I'd say, though, those uh, bio sections where I go through the new Pokemon in the area, I promise those won't be nearly as long as we get into routes later than these first couple of routes, because in these areas, they're just introducing the common Pokemon you're going to be finding all the frickin' time throughout your adventure. So I promise these segments won't be nearly as long in later parts, though. It's just in these first two parts, they're going to be kind of long. Uh, let's go ahead and walk past the old fart yet again, and... Hey, it's the jerk you punched us before! We're going to punch him back! What a, wh what a whip like me! What are you... Uh, well, looks like we have a new jerk incarnation here in this Let's Play. Alright, let's just go ahead and... He wants to fight us. Eh, you look like a girl. Actually, what's funny is I thought he was a girl when I first played this game when I was like 10. I thought that for a bunch of years. 
Alright, so anyway, he sends out Chikoridi, he's gonna have whatever starter is good against yours, usual. Uh, if you have Totodile, Fight is a breeze, because you can use Rage. Rage, basically, its attack power goes up every time you get hit with a damaging move. So, he's pretty much just gonna be spamming Tackle, which won't do much, because you're already a couple levels higher than him. And if you just do Rage, your damage increases every turn. In fact, we might actually knock him out next turn. If we actually do that, would be pretty cool. Come on, knock him out. Come on. Yay, he's dead! Um, difference between this fight also is that you have a berry equipped and he doesn't, so you technically have an extra 10 HP in reserve on your item. And question mark, question mark, question mark was defeated! Epic name you got there, buddy. My name's question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Nice name. I'm gonna be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. And he shoves us out of the way. Okay. Let's just go ahead and head back to New Bark Town, I guess. Let's just, um... Something I thought I'd mention is, throughout here, there's an NPC named Tuscany of Tuesday. She'll only be here on Tuesdays, and only after you beat the first gym. Uh, she'll give you a pink bow in this game, Silk Scarf and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It's an equip that raises power of normal-type moves. Uh, let's just go ahead and head to Professor Rome's lab and see what all that commotion was about. All the hubbub, bub. It's the cops! A Pokemon was stolen here. I just got some information, Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. We battled a trainer like that. Yes, you mirrored exactly what I said. His name? Well, here you can name him anything you want. I personally am going to name him. Yes, I named him that. Ian was his name. All right, let's do it. What is what is you gonna say? Is what I was gonna say. All right, Mr. Pokemon's big discovery. I handed Mr. Egg to him. <gasps> this? He doesn't get out much, does he? Alright, Pokemon Egg. It's a great discovery. What? He gave you Pokedex? Th that's incredible. He's superb of telling the potential of people as trainers. I might have... He thinks I have what it takes to be the champion Pokemon trainer after just that? Wow, he must be easily impressed and, like I said, not get out much. Alright, so we have to say goodbye to our mom because some old crazy guy was telling us to go out onto a quest. And we received five Pokeballs, not just one Pokeball. Limitations of text in early Game Boy, well, late Game Boy games, rather. Alright, so let's just go ahead. I'm gonna tell my mom to get her butt in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Whoa. She actually is in the kitchen, wow! <laughs> Couldn't do that again if I tried. <laughs> Leaving on an adventure, okay, I'll too. What can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. Alright, money is important. Sure, she will get you items and stuff like that. This feature is really useful in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but it's not so useful in this version, but I'll go ahead and just use it for the sake of consistency. Um... Just go ahead and head back out. Here we go. Start of a new adventure. Great interruption already. Seen you a couple times. How many Pokemon have you caught? Uh, none, because I just got Pokeballs. Want to show you to catch Pokemon? No! Oh, f what do you mean, oh, fine then? Don't be indignant with me. You should be happy to get the first epic no of this Let's Play. Come on. Don't be a jerk. Don't be like the red-headed guy. Don't be like the red-headed stepchild. Alright, now I went ahead and cut up here to the northern part of Route 29. Uh, going out here is Route 46. Yeah, we skipped ahead of a lot of the game, guys. No, not really. It's just an area where you can catch some more Pokemon. Uh, new Pokemon on this route include Jigglypuff, which is in, only in Gold and Silver, not in this game. Jigglypuff is a normal type. It's not that great. Its sing attack is pretty inaccurate. I don't really recommend it. Uh, then there's Geodude, which... Well, yeah. Geodude is really defensive, it's slow though, it's a rock and ground type, it has a lot of weaknesses, not really recommended much either. Uh, then we got Spearow, which I just ran into. I like Spearow quite a bit, it's a flying type that's really fast and offensive, really aggressive feeling. I like it a lot. Aggressive feeling, wow. Innuendos much. And then the last new Pokemon you can find here, only in Crystal, and only in the morning, and really rare, is Fanpy. I recommend Fanpy quite a bit. It's slow, but it's got a ton of defense, ton of attack power, learns great moves, and it has a lot of HP. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, we're actually going to be catching a Pokemon out here while we're here. I don't know, which one will it be? Well, you gotta tune in and find out next episode. Haha, <laughs> I'm a jerk. Yes, next time a Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be catching a Pokemon. Alright, see you guys then. Amazing! If I can actually catch this!